What's up YouTube, Gent here. Today, we're doing some aquascaping. The 400's empty, time to fill it up. A um, <clears throat> few things I got. I bought a bunch of this uh, real reef rock from Caribsea, even though it's not real rock. Uh, I did not know that at the time. Um, it looks like it's just cement in the shapes of Tonga Branch. <clears throat> And all the shapes kind of end up being the same. I don't know if they're using a mold or whatnot, but they all end up looking very similar. I'm uh, also using this Nios Reef Cement. I've never used it before. I've used the Marco Cement. I've used Super Glue. Um, this looks just like the Marco Cement, three to one. Uh, water to cement. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of sand. So anyone knows much about pouring concrete and strengthening up uh, cement, making a mortar, a good uh, close to one to one mix of sand to cement will help strengthen that. Um, I'm not using nearly as much, I'm just probably using about a fourth of sand to three parts cement. Um, also, on here, instruction says dries in two minutes. It actually dries pretty damn quick. Um, the binding time can be extended by adding citric acid. They're not saying how much. I don't know how much. I'm mixing up probably a fourth of this bottle, a fifth of this bottle at a time of cement. So just a small little like bag full just to get a few joints done at a time. And I'm using about a teaspoon. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use of this. It says it's supposed to slow it down. It also depends on how much water you add. You get it kind of wet, the slurry. Um, it will last a little bit longer, but you kind of want a putty to really make it work good. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started. So this is what I'm working with so far. Three feet, eight foot long tank. Um, I'm gonna try to split up in thirds. So bonsai trees, artwork, photography, things like that. They kind of want to separate things in thirds. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a separation here. This will be kind of an open arch rock work area. Um, maybe more like a bonsai tree looking thing. Uh, very open space. And over here, I want place for the fish to sleep. So a lot more rock, a lot more stuff for the fish to kind of get into, burrow themselves in, sleep, a lot more caves and stuff um, on this part right here. Uh, what I'm working with so far, uh, I've got a couple branches. I'm gluing it upside down. So that's not how it's gonna look in the tank. It's gonna be upside down, but I have a piece of plywood that I am throwing on um, and it's about a third of the tank. So that kind of gives me an idea to work with how it's gonna look in that third space of the tank. Um, so I've already cemented a few pieces. It's almost dry. I'll start working on the other pieces. I let it cure overnight. These are the other pieces that I've got. Um, this is a big arch. Uh, and then a lot more of that branching stuff. All carob. See, I do have some of the reef saver stuff that I had for my old tank. And I have a buttload of rock that I may or may not use. Um, it's all sitting in this tank right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Nice big shapes. Uh, well, this guy's freaking chilling out. And I want to use some of these guys. So all this coral is going in the show tank, but I don't know. There's always pests, I feel like. So I'm going to try to start fresh, start new, quarantine everything as I move over. Um, we'll see how it goes. But... Uh, wear your gloves uh, and I'm doing just one joint at a time so kind of start working what you think will look good um, I'm gonna flip this over and do some pieces upside down but I kind of put a, a little triple like that and then added a branch or two onto the side here to give it this shape um, this is what I'm gonna do as of now uh, and then I will add a little bit of branches here and there, and it's probably gonna go sit on a base rock. So sit off the sand bed another six inches or so. Um, 
but I'll get to working it right here. Let's get a few pieces done. So got it in this Ziploc bag. I did roughly three parts cement, one part sand, give or take a little bit. Just try to strengthen it up a tiny bit. The bonds that I made yesterday did really well, so I'll stay with what I'm doing. And then just a sprinkle of that citric acid, hopefully it'll slow it down a little bit. I've got the rocks propped up. I'll show you here in a second. Um, wear your gloves, even if they're ripped. I don't want to put a new one on because it's sweaty and you can't get a new pair on when your hands are sweaty. So anyways, add a little bit of water. You want to add a little water at a time because a little goes a long way. So add a little bit and just start, just start working it in this bag. Um, so yeah, you may or may not get enough. I thought it was dry, but it's working good here. I'll add a little bit. So you always want to save a little bit of these cement because I feel like I always overdo it and then I gotta add more cement to make it not as bad or not as wet. Um, again, I add a little bit more. And this bag just sort of helps knead it all into place. One little more shot. say you got two minutes like that's way quick for working so you only want to make a little bit at a, at a time because you'll overdo it and then a bunch will go to waste all right this might be though this might be it there we go so the consistent starting to get really good here So it's a pretty good little putty. Um, it is kind of a little bit wet, but I'm all right with that because I like getting it in the cracks of the rocks. So where I have the, the rocks placed, I'm gonna kind of wedge in the, the cracks, give it a little shake. That shake sort of almost makes it wetter or a little vibration makes it kind of shake into the cracks and get the cracks really good. Um, see if I can't show you here. Um, what I got to working with the ghetto setup, but whatever you can do. I mean, I've got rocks holding rocks placed up. It's sideways. It's hard, hard to see exactly what I'm doing, but I'm getting this crack right here. So get this putty. So it's still a little bit loose, but it's good enough for what I'm doing. So I kind of. Plop, plop some here, plop some there. So this takes a long time, a day at a time. So you can do a couple rocks here, a couple rocks there. Um, so I'm also getting the inside of the cracks or the opposite side of the cracks that I did yesterday to strengthen those. They were strong enough, but I just feel like the last thing you want is your aquascape falling apart on you. That would be good. So it's, um, you can see a little tap. That jiggle sort of wettens it and it allows it to just go into the cracks a little bit better. So I'll push it where I can and then when I can't I sort of jiggle it and um, Try to get it in those areas. I don't have to leave too much excess where I don't need it because you will see it for a couple months until your tank gets coralline and other algae and stuff on there. I mean, I don't know how long this video is, four minutes. Some of the stuff's already hardening up. Some of it's still fairly loose. I'm gonna get 
each joint really good, kind of mound it around the joint. Um, you don't want to go too thin, uh, otherwise it'll crack and snap on you. Um, so I'm making sure I can get all that joint as much as I can really good. I'm gonna have to mix up some more. I know the lighting sucks for y'all on this video, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. Kind of tough to see. I got it propped up here with a couple rocks. I'm gonna put this stuff in. Um, it's already getting pretty puttied out here. So, I'm gonna make do with what I got. into these edges as much as I can but it's still soft and it gets hard fast that's what she said anyways see the consistency here but the plan is keep attacking these cracks and adding a little bit more here and a little bit more there and hopefully before I know it it will stay
we'll see where we got to. Um, kind of got as much as I could in these seams without jiggling the rock. You don't want to move it around too much. And uh, we'll take a gander at it tomorrow. See how it came out. All right, it's been 24 hours. Moment of truth here. Did it hold up? Um, it looks dry. So far, so good. Um, part of it done. I'm gonna try to put this on some sort of pedestal or something a little bit taller, a little bit thicker than these, so we can kind of come off of the ground. Another few inches. But so far, it's working pretty good. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna add a couple more branches here and figure out a base. I don't know if I'm gonna cut one of these um, reef savers um, flat on the bottom and then just kind of put it as a pedestal. Um, you might try that. We'll see how it works. What's up, Teddy? So far, okay, so far it's fairly sturdy. Um, some things I've noticed already that I wish I had done was when I started, I used this as like a little tripod, these three branches. I wish I had spread them out more, flattened them out um, so there's more space and opened it up a little bit more to the front. So this is going to be the front of it. So I'm going to probably have another drop down here, which adds a lot more. Uh, but yeah, as of now, and probably another one or two right here. So kind of bring it up and out. Um, but yeah, the straight up really doesn't allow much placement on these back underneath parts. And you're only seeing stuff on the top. So either tough stuff right here or off of these sides. Otherwise, it's already shaded for my acros. But I mean, zoos and other stuff would do just fine on those. So that's now. Let's continue. All right cut to another section of the video. It's taken forever. This is day day 500, it feels like. Um, but what I'm out here today is get a piece of rock, big rocks, making them into little smaller rocks. I'm just using a chisel and a hammer, but I want little pieces. So little small giblets. So whether you're doing a big NSA aquascape with tons of little pieces and cement in it, or you're using bigger rocks, what happens is you use these big rocks, the way they stack is just not conducive. It doesn't look like a natural reef would. So you do these little pieces so you can kind of, you can kind of add spots in and slowly bring it down where a rock, rock structure might actually look. So you, you kind of want to slowly, I don't know, in a sense, slowly bring it. So it's not just a straight taper off of a big rock. And also by doing that, you can create caves. Hopefully I don't dirty up too much. You can kind of create caves um, and it allows more space for coral. So every time you go down a little bit farther, down a little bit farther, you add another space for coral and the slight tapering just looks a lot more natural, um, the slope of that. Hopefully that video worked. Oh, and when you hammer and chisel it, see all this dust on the ground um, there's lots of little packets and pushed in pieces of dust in here uh, I just go in with a garden hose and just spray it all off and get all that stuff out so it's not in your tank and then also cementing it when there's dust particles on this it doesn't cement well because the, the cement will dry on there it will dry on the dust before it kind of gets into the pores of this so if you clean off really well and if you leave it kind of damp when you do the cement it sticks a lot better. Well, there it is in all its glory. Only a week and a half later. Um, that's the structure you guys kind of saw me building. Add another arm or two, um, one on the base. And then this was the, the arch back there. Did the arch and I, I kind of put some base on it and then added a few branches off of it. And then I made one little island with some more branches off of that. A few caves, a couple of openings here and there. 
Um, it makes the rock work really open having that branch. Uh, but I also like having a bunch of base rock too. I know it's kind of uh, contrasting the purple and the white, but eventually it'll all look pretty similar. But the fish need places to sleep and that branch has nothing for them. So that's why I use a lot of this, this rock work here. And you can see when I broke off these little pieces, um, adding little pieces here and there, uh, so it's not all through here too. So it's just not one big solid piece. Um, I put a curtain on the back. This is from the side. I put a curtain on the back as of now, just to, just so you can see it a little bit better. I may or may not leave a curtain. I may paint it. Uh, to be honest, I might do the curtain just because it's nice to get around the back and see it all. But that's it. Tell me what you think. Uh, so far, I think it looks pretty good.